Omar Shakir is the director for the Middle East and North Africa Division of Human Rights Watch, which investigates human rights abuses in Israel, the West Bank, and Gaza. He joins me now from Chicago. Good to have you on with us. What's your reaction to these Israeli attacks interrupting Palestinian Muslim worshippers during prayers two nights in a row, especially during the holy month of Ramadan? Are we seeing a deliberate escalation by Israeli forces? These images are deeply unsettling, even if we've seen them in years past. Every time they come, they should horrify all of us. I mean, this is part of a pattern of Israeli forces using excessive force, vastly disproportionate against Palestinians to do so in the middle of Ramadan, you know, during Passover, uh, during a time in which we're seeing unprecedented repression of Palestinians in the West Bank, years long highs and Palestinians killed in the West Bank, held in administrative detention, is simply a recipe for further escalation and is just intensifying the everyday reality of structural violence and apartheid that Palestinians face. How concerned are you that this could lead to a wider spread conflict? I think very concerned. I mean, we've already seen that the first of these raids led to an exchange of rockets and Israeli airstrikes. Um, in Gaza, we know in the West Bank that we've seen scores of Palestinians killed um, since the beginning of the year. It's become a, it's a regular occurrence that could um, continue. We're seeing protests um, inside Israel by Palestinian citizens throughout the West Bank. The reality is when you have a situation of repression that takes place um, you know, through cold violence of structures or through the hot violence of bloodshed and demolitions, any small thing can be a trigger that leads to even more intense periods of escalation. So we're always just a moment's notice away from that. These uh, Israeli restrictions and uh, continued provocations that we see, what does this all mean for Palestinians and their right to worship? Look, I mean, for Palestinians, we have to first of all recall that Al-Aqsa is off limits to the vast majority of Palestinians. Um, not even here speaking about Palestinian refugees that can't even return to the place they're from. I'm speaking about the 2.1 plus million in Gaza who are presumptively not allowed to leave Gaza absent narrow exemptions. I'm talking about the restrictions most of the year round are on Palestinians in the West Bank. So we're already talking about a situation that's very constrained. And now we're talking about a reality where even the privileged few that can pray in Al-Aqsa Mosque are being forced out of the mosque when it's not exactly prayer time, are being subjected to be beatings, use of stun grenades, um, really awful tactics on an everyday basis. So the idea that Israel permits freedom of religion is belied by the reality of sweeping restrictions and use of force against people who do are able to go. All right, we'll leave it there. Omar Shakir joining us from Chicago. Thank you.